guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anaya, by the way, and you're watching Anaya's Universe. Before we get started, please subscribe and hit the bell button. Right now, it is snowing. It's snowing in New York. Also, it's the holiday season. season. And last night, it was snowing as well. It's snowing today, too. Oh, it's snowing today, too. It's very nice and pretty. And during the holiday season, people love decorating. And it looks really nice. If you look at all the other houses as well, you can see how pretty they look and how nice they are in the snow. Whew. Also, we'll be discussing about uh, pheasants and pigeons. They, those are the pets that live outside. Um, we have a cage for them. I call it the wild cage because those are the pets that live outside. And yeah. So before we get started, just look at the pretty view. Look at the pretty snow. And really cold too. share the story that my grandpa told me a while back and it's about pigeons and what happened was kings and queens in the past kings and queens they would actually have pigeon towers which is pretty awesome they would have pigeon towers and in those pigeon towers the pigeons would poop and their poop were fertilized and fertilizer is really good because you could grow crops out of it so what happened was there was also a guard there, and the guard would keep away all those people that would try to steal fertilizer because at the time it was pretty hard to have fertilized grounds and it was kind of expensive. So people would have to pay these people, I mean the kings and queens, to get more fertilized grounds. And yeah, that's about it. That's the facts about pigeons. They're so beautiful and adorable, and sometimes they play, a play fight too. Let me tell you about my pheasants. So my pheasants are ringneck pheasants. Our girl pheasants are not as bright colored like the boy pheasants we got. They are basically brown with the little patterns. We also incubated a bunch of eggs which hatched it into little pheasant chicks which were adorable and we raised them to adulthood. By the way, I named a few of them, and when they were babies, uh, two of them were my favorite, which was Margo and Lakshmi. They were really fun to play with, and I would actually put leashes on them and walk them around the house. Uh, that's kind of funny, and you can actually do that. Here comes the boy, which I named King, and as you can see, 
He has brighter colors and a white ring around his neck, which is different than the girls you can see. So my pigeons and pheasants are living in this Avery, but it is only temporary for the time being. Me and my dad are planning to make a huge one, which is good, and t- but we're going to do it next year. One more story that my grandpa told me. So these pigeons are homing pigeons, which could fly very far and very fast. So they used to use these pigeons in wars to send messages, which is pretty awesome. So I think it's really cool to have pigeons and pheasants. The awesome thing about pigeons and pheasants are, especially when they're babies, they're adorable. Pigeons, nah, not that much. But the cool thing about them is that you could take them for a walk on a leash. cage by the way is because it's outside and it's um, outside in the cold and I call it the wild cage because it's outside it's not inside or anything like that so I call the wild cage and then all my birds here they ate earlier so that's why I'm guessing why they're not actually that hungry normally they would be like hitting onto the food they would be sitting in my lap but also once it gets cold they they, we feed them like a ton because we want their body heat to heat up and it's adorable when they get nice and warm and heated up. It's just so cute. So, everyone, look at its feathers. See? By the way, bye everyone. See you guys next time and please subscribe and hit the notif- notification button. Bye. Bye. Come on. Ready? Go on. Mm.